Um, yeah, I didn't do any of the things that I said that I was going to do yesterday. So that's just going to have to roll over to today. I don't really have plans this weekend, so that's fine. Um, but I've been really wanting to do this for a long, long time because I've just been craving it. I feel like this, if any, if nothing else, could qualify as my soul food, like, um, and that is baked mac and cheese. I need to wash this again. That's embarrassing. I want to use this time to talk a little bit about, like, cooking because I feel like, so, I wanted to learn how to cook, like, when I was young. But my mom never took me seriously <laughs> about why to learn how to cook. The one time that she did try, like, let me help her was when I was maybe 13. And she let me, like, help her prepare chicken. And I was like, of all the things you could have started me out on, it had to be this. Mind you, this is when... I was a pescatarian, so my mom was just being evil, um, <laughs> and the thing is, I, I love my mom because she's so supportive of, like, everything, even if she doesn't believe in it, to an extent. There are certain things where it's just, like, you know, um, but, like, when it came to me being a pescatarian, she was like, <laughs> right. Okay, so if I come out here and make some oxtails, you're not going to eat them? And I was like, no. <laughs> she, was so, she was so mean about it because she was like, yeah, okay, we'll see. Um, and I was just like, yeah, I guess we will see. Um, and she did this multiple times. And I was just like, I'm not going to eat it. Like, just give me the rice, I guess. Because... Whenever my mom, before she stopped cooking frequently, she would, like, always make rice, which is why I thought I, I preferred rice over pasta for the longest time, um, but I actually don't, unless there's a sauce involved, I don't like rice. Um, if it's just, like, plain rice, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of it. If it's been seasoned in some type of way, then I'm then I'm more inclined to get that over pasta or if there's a sauce with like the meat portion of the meal then I'll like then I'll prefer rice it's like very situational um so what do you call it she would do this thing when like I first became pescatarian where she was like first of all I didn't even like jump into pescatarianism at first I was just not eating um hot dogs specifically it wasn't pork in general it was hot dogs specifically but funny story another tangent upon a tangent upon a tangent um i didn't eat we weren't allowed not we weren't allowed but we didn't eat pork um in my house growing up and i think the first time i ever had pork it was pepperoni pizza and i was eight or nine years old when this happened because i asked my mom so many times if i could have pepperoni pizza and she was like um or no i i loved pizza in general so i would just get cheese pizza and then i was like oh could i have like pepperoni i've never had that before and she was like yeah sure why not and my sister was like wait what and we didn't really like go into depth on it and then later i was like wait why were you so why is the fact that I had pepperoni pizza so weird? And she was like, we eat turkey bacon. And like, so me as a kid, I think I think like half, I feel like majority of the bacon that I ate as a kid was turkey bacon. So I actually do have an affinity towards turkey bacon, just saying. Um, and she was like, we eat turkey bacon because we don't eat pork because it's seen as like an unclean animal, or at least that's what like, mommy believes but then she let you have pepperoni which is pork so it didn't make sense and my sister is like four and a half years older than me so I was like oh I didn't know that it was pork <laughs> like this is to tell you how young I was so I was like oh I didn't know so I didn't know pepperoni was pork it was also my first time having pepperoni and I was like oh my god I love this why have I never had this before but then I went on like 
a few months where ooh, like my decision later on to stop eating pork was actually made after <coughs> after seeing the episode of a simple life with paris hilton and her back then friend um where they worked on a like hot dog making or they not on but they worked they like spent a few days uh working at a hot dog making factory i don't know how to say that um and i saw how hot dogs were made for the very first time and i was like so turned off by the process of stuffing it i didn't know that like the out outside of it was actually intestine lining so that like creeped me out so much that i just cut off all like i cut off all like pork products but specifically like um what do you call it specifically hot dogs and then this was actually in that time period this is actually like overlapping the moment where i was obsessed with um getting pepperoni pizzas because my sister was like you realize that those are like they're the same thing like they're made the same way and i didn't know that so like this was all in the same discussion of her being like yeah mommy didn't usually doesn't usually have us eating pork but like if we go places she's not gonna stop us from eating pork um but also she was like you're being a hypocrite because you said that you don't eat um to me she was like you're not you're not eating uh hot dogs but then you're eating pepperoni and those are literally made the same way and i didn't know that because i didn't know what pepperoni looks like outside of its sliced form <laughs> so i was like wait what and so i slowly started to wean myself off of pepperoni pizzas and to eventually it was to the point where like i i don't know when my recordings shut off but i'm not gonna go back and and check i just want to see if i can do it and then i ended up being a pescatarian for seven years not actually no it was yeah for seven years because i stopped when i um entered college uh so yeah <laughs> i was just like yeah i want to see if i can do it and then my mom was like yeah okay we'll see and then she would make because this was back when she was still like cooking on the regular she would make dishes and she to show you that she actually does like support in some aspect later on as she realized that i was actually doing this she would um make full meals where she where like my preference for um having seafood would be included so instead of having like oxtail we'd have like a, a seafood medley of some kind um for our like protein and every other aspect would be like relatively the same where like we'd have the carbs and then the vegetables and stuff like that and she would do this sometimes but not all the time she would make sure that like i wasn't hungry at the end of dinner um with just having like the rice and the vegetables and i was just like yeah no i'm good um yeah i miss those days i miss my mom's cooking and it sucks because i'm like if i had I don't know, gone with plan A instead of forcing myself into plan B, I'd probably be, uh, I would be, at this point, yeah, I'd be starting my first year of like, I'd either be starting my first year of interning or I would be a certified veterinarian already. I, could, I probably could have like been planning on retiring her by the time I was like 32. Um and she could start cooking again and stuff like that and there are just moments where i think about where i think about that and then i'm also like yeah but then there's so many other things that like wouldn't have been able to happen <laughs> and it's like priority wise like i feel like i would have rathered the um going the plan a route 
if it wasn't for the fact that I think my mental health would have if it wasn't for the fact that I feel as though going the route of plan A would have been a bad um, decision for my mental health. I think I said that sentence correctly. Um, yeah. But alas, we are attempting to do like a plan B contingent and <laughs> and go somewhat into plan A again in whatever way possible. If that doesn't work, then plan C because I actually don't know what I want to do at this point um, if it's not being a veterinarian. There we go. <gasps> Look how good that looks. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. This is good. I'm so freaking happy with how this turned out. Um, yeah, bye. <laughs>